Uh-uh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I definitely can't see off a jump pants. <laughs> How's it guys? Welcome back to Paris. Welcome back to How's It Sav? How's it guys? Sav's always in the vlogs, I don't know why I had to. Today we have got a bunch of different weird-ish Danish foods. Dane-ish foods. Maybe they're not Dane, maybe they are Dane-ish. We don't know. But we recently did a trip to Copenhagen and we picked up a bunch of different foods there. Things like salt, of things like this and things like that. And we decided that we're gonna try them on camera because I enjoy my food, I enjoy trying new things. Sav doesn't... I'm so anxious. I, like, I, oh, I don't like weird foods. Not to say weird to insult anybody, but like different, different from, foods yeah. from what I eat. We'll go through each product as we taste it and uh, we'll give you a little description and what we think of it, maybe. Well, we'll see how it goes. I haven't really thought this out very well. The first product that we've got, Snacksters, Gamel Ducks, Flaskevar. 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 Med salt. Med salt. Yeah, exactly. These ones are salted, and these look like these look like just pork rinds or like ch chicharitos, chicharrones. There's a big one. <coughs> it tasted like what I was expecting it to taste like. Quite nice. Just a kind of casual bar snack, I guess. Mm. They're okay. Oh. They don't smell great. They don't smell great at all. Let me give you guys that um, ASMR crunch right up in the camera. Oh, Mmm. That's not too bad. Next up, we were told that the rye bread, you have to try. So we bought some. And as you'll see from the packet, Sav is actually already tucked into this, so she knows that it's good, but I haven't tried any. I really like rye bread. I live in Germany for a bit, so I'm used to eating rye bread, and um, I also don't really eat like white bread because of the gluten element, so I really like rye bread. So I've just set it up on a board. We're gonna have it with some normal butter, just tasting it plain because we've got some things to go on it next. There you go. Okay, Danish rye bread. It's so good. That is really good. It is a lot better than the kind of traditional rye breads that I've seen here, that I've seen in South Africa. And I think I got a taste of something similar to this when we were actually in Copenhagen mm -hmm. and they had it on the smorgasbord. Smorgasbord? Smorgasbord. Yeah. Very nice. Rating out of 10. It's a 10 for me. I would eat that every day. I give it a 10 as well. Now the exciting stuff to go on top of the rye bread. What do we have? Oh, oh, Ocologist remoulade. Yeah, it's pretty simple. I think this is less of something that you just have. Oh, do you guys hear the click? The click was good. <clears throat> no, it's good. No, it's fine. That definitely didn't need to be refrigerated. No, I'm kidding, man. That's fine. I don't actually know what remoulade is, but I know I've had it before, so I'm not too scared of it. Okay, these are tiny pieces. This is literally, it's going to be like a mayo dip type vibe. Cheers. Yeah, that's fine. That's nice. Remoulade would definitely recommend it. It's just like another good old fashioned sandwich condiment. It tastes like pickle Piccadilly. Mm. Piccadilly? It tastes a little bit like Piccadilly, but like not quite Piccadilly as... Piccadilly Circus. Pic <laughs> not quite. Like Piccadilly. <laughs> Piccadilly. Piccadilly. It tastes like Piccadilly. Next on the list, Sav's one that she's most excited for. I have no idea what this is, but it's Torskerogen. I think just don't smell it. I'm not gonna take a sniff. Oh. I really don't know if I can do this one. You'll be fine. You just need to have a little bit. It's basically a fish paste. You don't know that. It could just be what? Lost in translation. I don't it's know. It's got a fish on it. Oh. <laughs> oh what does it smell? No, it doesn't smell. Don't just <laughs> it's the way it looks coming out. So nasty. Yeah, I'll give you a little piece. Don't smell it. Don't smell it. Just knock it back. I don't know, I can't. You can do it. 
I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm gonna have a bite of it. Okay, that's fine. Have a bite of it. No, I can't do it. Is it gross? <laughs> it's not gross. It's just um. You know what it smells like? In South Africa, you get this wet dog food called husky. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like husky. Have you tried it yet? No, man. Just take a bite. It's not that bad. So you've got your coke right there. Take a bite. If you don't like it, just quickly wash it down with some coke. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm, no, I got You don't like it. I think I know what it is. I think it's made from fish roe. I think it's made from like um, the fish's egg sac. <laughs> Are you just trying to tell me I ate like no, the fish's ball sack? No, man, the eggs. It's like the ovaries. Oh! So it's like caviar. Like it's like caviar, basically. It's a caviar pate. I don't know. Look, I don't know if I'll continue to eat this. The other stuff so far, yeah. But I don't know if I'll continue to eat this. We're gonna have to look up what it is. This isn't probably the type of thing I would eat anyway. Like, I don't eat anchovies or, sard or sardines or like any type of mm. fish paste. So, this is like very far from. I'm just cleaning even, up the even board. Even your face is like not very happy. It's not that great. I'm just cleaning up the board. That transitions us perfectly onto the next one though. No, I can't have this one. Which is something that I've been looking forward to trying. Mariner de Silt. It's not Polish. No, it's not Polish, but I'm pretty sure the Poles do something similar. I don't know if they marinate their herring, but I'm pretty sure herring is silt just by the look of it in the jar. Give that a bash. I'm gonna have that on some bread as well. With a little bit of butter. Bada bing, bada boom. Don't worry, after this we're getting onto sweeties and chocolates, so. No, I didn't. You've got to close it. Oh my god, you've got to close it. You're trying to stink up our whole flat. Don't stink up our whole flat, I'll just stink up this one room. Yeah, our whole flat. <laughs> no, I don't think uh, listen, this is going to be a hard pass for me. Because I didn't give you guys the, the nice sounding lid pop from the last one. You ready? Ooh. Ooh. Does that bring as much pleasure to anyone else? Well, that's going to be nice, man. Here we go. <laughs> as long as they don't use artificial sugar, whatever, one of those sugar light things, I'll be fine. Because I've had something similar to this before, and my only issue with it was that they wanted to reduce the amount of sugar in it, so they used aspartame or steviol or one of those things, and I just, I can't handle that stuff. Cutting it in half? No, I'm not, I'm not eating that. Okay, I can't. You I had, I had hearing at Polish Easter, and that was too much And you meaning. lived. No. Beautiful. Mm. Soft, tender, vinegary, sweet, salt. Yeah, I can't do pickled fish. I can imagine with these onions. Yeah, that's that's what it is, pickled fish. Mm. With these onions here, get a little bite. You know, Woolies does the pickled fish. Mm. Mm. I'm just saying. So it's not like it's just a. No, I don't think it's a Danish only thing. Mm. The fish is really good, it's like smooth. Mm. You stop talking with your mouth. <laughs> a little water break. Mm. Now onto the fun stuff. The sweeties and the chocolates and the... <laughs> We're gonna start with Kajki's Kaj 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 Salt Fisk. Which I'm assuming is a salted licorice <laughs> fish. I don't like licorice. I don't like licorice either. Ooh, that smells like licorice. Uh-uh. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, I don't like it. No, I don't know why people are eating that. You see, I was reluctant to buy those because I was like, I know I'm not going to like these. Jeez, I've got like shivers. <laughs> I don't even want to lick my fingers. Okay. Jeez, that's vile. Yo, those are no. Those are no. Those are no for me. Up next on the list. Too stuck on my teeth. Sorry about that, guys. On to the next one. This is called Spunk. It's the worst name ever. It's the absolute worst name for so, anything. So, how did they package that? You know? What? They don't smell like anything. I think it's because they might be candy coated. Let's see, what do they look like? They look like little black beans or Tiny coffee little, beans. 
Okay, ready? Cheers. It's the same as the salted. It's also licorice. Yeah, it's a hard pass for me. Ooh. Oh. I don't like this stuff. I don't. Mm. I don't want that. Oh, it's I mean, not I, even like a mild licorice. Like sometimes. It's just very strong. You yeah. get licorice that's quite mild, and you can sort of, you know, go through it like licorice or salt or whatever. Yeah. Like that's okay. This is very strong. Like it's very heavy. Compared to what we used to, yeah. I mean, it might be normal for the rest of the world, but the last licorice thing that we've oh, got. God. It's also licorice. So the Danes. Are well known for their licorice, they apparently. Are? Apparently, that's what they told me. So these are Skipper's Pipes, original. Someone was telling me a great story about these. They said that they tried to ban them from kitty shops because it promotes smoking and whatever. So there was a whole oh. drive. Anyway, the people trying to ban them lost, which is why they're still available today. And the sales only went up actually after the really? after they tried to stop them being sold. Sales increased, which is pretty cool. Oh, it's cool packaging. Very cool packaging. Nice unboxing experience here. Let me show you guys quickly before we tuck into... They don't look terrible. I mean, they don't look strong. menacing. They look way closer to licorice. Oh. They look way <laughs> closer to licorice all sorts. But yeah, it's more of a shiny licorice. I feel like we should just share one. Da 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 da. It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G. <laughs> Have you tried it already? You just like the pink things. That was quite a bite you took there. This is a tolerable oh, yeah. licorice. This yeah. is the licorice that I know. Mm. I wouldn't choose to buy this and no. eat it. But... Maybe if it was only sweet in the house and I was like, oh, I really need something. Mm. I would like snook on the end of it, you know, like this little, these little pink things. Yeah, those are all right. They're okay. Mm -hmm. I'll give it to them. So not all licorice is bad. Just a couple bad apples. <laughs> Up next, we've got... Six mini fruer. No, it's not like cards either. Fr fruer. Fruer. Fr fr uh, Maybe that's because they're supposed to be like little frogs, so it's like fr Milk chocolate with vanilla, vanilla smack. I can tell you that means milk chocolate with vanilla, vanilla taste. Flavor. Flavor. Yeah, so I think these were vanilla filled at one stage, but you can see this is that's where all the vanilla is. The frogs are. Are they frogs? They're supposed to be. Uh, Oh, that reminds I, me of um, Harry Potter. Oh, with the don't put it all the way out. No, I want to see the vanilla. Okay, you do you then. This smells like those little box of chocolates you get, and then there's like those ones with like a liqueur in them in the middle. You know, those things. I've still got so much licorice in my teeth. And how's this, huh? I just like those chocolates. You're like half committing to everything, and I'm doing whole, I'm taking full hits here. Well, you're the brave one. That's true. I mean, the chocolate on that is not too bad. You think so? Hmm. Okay, get the schnitzel. I'm still trying to get the licorice out of my teeth. What do they make licorice out of? Why is it so sticky? Next on the agenda, we've got some snufflers. Snuffler. Snuff. It is not Polish. <laughs> you just say everything is Polish off the cons. Okay, help yourself. Come on, pop a whole one in. Oh, what a little wussy bite. I smelled these already. I don't think I like. I don't think I like them. What is that? I don't know, you tell me. I'm tempted to have a bite, but I don't want to have a bite. There's a lot going on right now. Let me have a bite of yours. And they smell sickly sweet. There's like... The center, you're gonna get it now. I don't like it. The center tastes like bubble gum. <laughs> you know, like blue bubble gum flavored stuff. I don't like this at all. What is that? I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. That's giving me goosebumps. Oh, that's so... no, man. I want to Google what this... All I'm tasting, honestly, is like bubble gum. No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, while Sav looks up what is in the snufflers, we are on to the final solid ingredient. Palia Chocolade. Pal... Pal... Why are there two names? Are they both... No, one is um, Norwegian. Ah, which one would you like to try? Mork or Lace? Lace. Lace, mork, okay. They're these super thin little sheets. You got a little, it's a little biscuit, it's a little chocolate, well it's not biscuit, it's not actually biscuit, but I'm... Um, that's nice. Yeah, it's okay. Like it would be a type of thing, if there was no chocolate in the house and I was craving, I just... I would eat these. I would, I would, I would oh. eat them. You throat. can eat them then. Good, okay. So I got myself some paleo chocolate. Paleo. 
Bring it up, bring it up. Now the final, final ingredient is a reward because I've been told that this Chocchio stuff is the best chocolate milk there is. I should probably rinse my mouth after having chocolate. Would you be so kind? Ooh. Oh. Cheaper, that's a lot. Sorry, uh, that'll be mine then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, complaining that's a lot and then that's good. Thick. <laughs> well, I had to, it was going to roll down the thing. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, good year. I'm sensing it's this year. Good cultivar. Good cultivar. Mmm, that's a Jersey Brown. That's good. I actually don't rate it that much. Oh, it's good, but it's better. This might be because I've just had a whole, like, disc of other chocolate. I shouldn't have bought such big glasses then. I'm tempted to pour this back and save it for another day. I'm tempted to pull mine back and save it for another day. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Sorry, we already packed up the couch and the thing cut out and whatever. But if you did, let me know by dropping a comment in the comment section in the Speenut Gallery. And uh, we will hopefully do some more of those because we've got some more trips planned soon. So we will be visiting more places that have foods different to ours and therefore that makes them weird. We might even do one here in France. Terrible weather today. Doesn't matter. I'll see you guys next time. 